Okay, I think I'm back. The restart did not work if the time away told you anything. <laughs> I was like panicking. I was like, I'm gonna have to order new parts. I'm gonna have to like, maybe I can stream on Saturday to make up for it because I missed last Wednesday's stream. <laughs> like spiraling. Um, but I got it working. So I first was like, is the monitor's port the problem or is like, are the cables the problem? Hopefully not my capture, or not capture card, but my um, graphics card. <laughs> so I was like, well, first let's take the monitor from over there and try to plug that monitor in here and see if it works. But it uses a different power cable. And so I had to like crawl under my desk to unplug it and bring the power cable over here. It, could barely reach to plug in, but it wasn't working. <laughs> so I was like, okay, then it's probably the cables then. And hopefully not the port on my graphics card. But anyway, I uh, there's two cables though that go, cause there's an HDMI cable that comes out of the computer, but then it plugs into an HDMI extension cord. And that extension cord is all cable managed along the wall inside like a little cover and I was and and I have ties on either end of it outside of the cover it's like tied with velcro and I was like please let it not be that because one I don't have a replacement I have to order one in and two I'd have to completely disassemble all my cable management which I kind of just did a few days ago and so I was like, well, let's try changing the HDMI cable first because that's completely out. And thankfully it was just that. I just had to find one that was long enough. And the one that I unplugged, like where it plugs into the computer, the metal part where it attaches is kind of like loose and floppy. So I think that's where the problem was. The HDMI cable was damaged. <laughs> so we're good now. I'm just glad I could resume streaming today because I was like, no, I really want to do this artwork, but I like really want to do it on stream. Got myself a Java. Java monster. Bottoms up. So if you're tuning into just this part, this is part two. If you're watching the VOD, <laughs> this is part two. Part one was the sketch. The rough sketch and the transfer. I've got the rougher sketch underneath. This is the cleanly traced sketch. And now we're gonna start coloring it, which is the part I was most excited for, which is also why that was very unfortunate. <laughs> Conch, will I finally get a research grant this year? Sort of, it's complicated. Hmm. How do you sort of get a grand? <laughs> anyway. I also didn't say this in the first half of the live stream, but I bought my missing Copics. So if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you may have seen. If you were if you saw if you saw it yesterday, you know. So I have a lot of colors to choose from. But I made a bit, bit of a boo-boo, okay? When I made my list of refills to buy, I excluded the ones I most desperately need for some reason. <laughs> like, I have, there's three colors where I have the markers, but I don't have the refills for them, and they're, like, so dry that I can't even fill in the Copic chart. And I wonder if I just thought that these are ones I had refills for or something. But why would I think that? Because the square is not colored in. So, for V12, B00, and RV21... I have the markers, but they're so dry and I don't have the refills. Look how cute they look together too. <sighs> but also there was one marker I couldn't get, which is V22. They were out of stock. <laughs> so I'm missing one marker. <laughs> but I have since ordered it online along with the refills that they were also out of, well, some of the refills, like they don't even have a spot for it. The art store I went to, they just don't carry every refill color. And the only place online that I could find that had everything was Blick. Well, not the only place, but like I checked Canadian sites first 
And then I went to Blick because I knew they would have everything. I'm sure there are other American companies that also have everything, but anyway. So order the remaining ones from my list plus the three. Thankfully, I didn't place that order until I realized that I was missing the refills for these three. So I ordered them. Also, what's up with this? This is the same color. <laughs> these are both R56 current. Sorry, I don't have autofocus on. But yeah, those are the same color. What the heck? So anyway, we're picking out colors for the cookie when all went haywire. <laughs> I guess that HDMI cable was hanging on by a thread and then, although what's weird is I unplugged, like when it died, I unplugged it over here, which is the extension cord, but it was actually the HDMI cable over there that was the problem. Anyway. A lot of our blicks have shut down. I wonder if they just do much better online versus brick and mortar. But also probably because the rise of digital is affecting them to a certain extent. Okay, let's also pick out a brown, like a nice warm brown, such as... I mean, E13 and E15 both look nice. I'm just gonna grab some stuff and then we'll just start slapping it down to see what looks good. But then I also want to get in like pink, yellow. Let's try Y13. I'm tempted to use Y18 because it's like one of my newest yellows. But I'm scared it's gonna be dark for this. Like I might use it after, but we gotta start light and we can work our way dark. But 18 and 19, brand new that I just got. You did not see anything there, but you know. And let's grab a light pink. Um, let's go for like a non-peachy pink. Let's go. I, I kind of want RV11 and I'm like, bae. Maybe try one of your new ones. But which ones are the new ones? I think RV52 is new. That square being filled in feels so weird to me. But that's very purpley. Because see, my photo I took, the background is purpley, but I don't know. Like a purpley pink. Let's maybe do... I mean, you can't really go wrong starting with RV11 or RV23. RV21 would probably work really well, but it's dead! <laughs> I'm going to say 23 because I need to go brighter than I think. Like, I'm nervous, but like that's kind of the whole point of this. Add a lot of color. This fucking mic. Maybe I should just use a lanyard. This keeps pointing outwards. Okay. I'm sorry. Get out of that. I'm missing V22. This one. I have since ordered it. I knew I had to do it right away, otherwise I'd forget. But I procrastinated enough that I actually filled out the chart and then realized what I was missing for those other three refills, which is perfect. Because if I had placed the order and then later realized, I would have been pissed. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cry. Shake in fear and terror. No. Um, I'm gonna add some yellow here. Like I'm going, I was saying this in the first half before my stream died. In the day, the bay stream. 
died is I want to go really crazy on reflected light, but also just adding colors that aren't there. But also because like this is near a peep. So it's like yellow. Like extreme reflected light, you know. A member, always a member. I also don't know how blendy I'm gonna go with this. Like, I might not really blend it out at all. These two views look completely. See, I might want to go lighter than this in here, but I can use my pencil and stuff to add a little highlights. The biggest struggle is like, I don't really know what I want where. Like, okay, that's kind of just cookie color. <clears throat> But like we need to add more, but I'm also scared. Where do I add more? Who, why, when, where, what, how? <laughs> this one's so bright, I'm scared. Maybe I do want to start with RV11. Like I could probably cover RV11 with this pink if I need to. There's also supposed to be like a shadow here. The edge of the cookie. Maybe I should have scanned this in case I royally mess it up. <laughs> But at the same time, it's not like, if, if I mess this up and it doesn't look good, then that's just how it is. Like, I don't really have to redo it. It's not like this is intended to be for something. It's just for fun. How does it feel almost having every Copic? It feels annoying, but also feels powerful. Because there's so many times I look at them and I'm like, what if that's the color I need? But I don't even know what that color looks like. Okay, I need more than just this shadow area. For the pink, I think. Because see, it can't just be like random blobs of color. It has to make sense in some capacity but like it's hard to know that's why i'm trying it to teach myself <laughs> it's like how do you know at least if it was digital you can like keep working it but with this there's only so much I can do to fix it with marker. Whoa. How did you switch back What's to autofocus? Member, I thought I saw it do something like that earlier. And then I was like, it's all in my imagination. Practice makes progress. Exactly. Uh... Asa, thank you for the nine months. Gustafer, thank you for the five months. I don't know where we left off with those ones that came through before the stream went down. <laughs> I don't remember reading lily pads. Okay. Back to Y21, which looks kind of orange, like more orange than I usually picture it next to the pink and yellow, you know. This is kind of like the base color of the cookie. 
so it's going to be in a lot of places. Oh yeah, I want to get some, wait. Yeah, I'm like, do I want blues in this? Not, there's not really any blue in what I've drawn so far. But that doesn't mean I can't add some. piss yellow on the camera at least on my monitor it looks like that I look a little better <laughs> I swear it's like not a greenish yellow So the reason, yeah, because I imagined using blues in here, but like it makes more sense to use greens because we actually have green Fruit Loops. I really like YG05, but is that too dark? YG05, 06, 07 almost look identical. It's like why? Oh. And then YG03 is more desaturated. It's like really out of pro out of place compared to the other ones. Okay, I think I could grab YG. Ooh, ooh YG forty one would be cute too. YG forty one and YG O five. yellow. Hey, change the stars. Hey, zombie. I'm doing well. After a little technical hiccup, you swear it's not a greenish yellow. Does that mean you have greenish pee? <laughs> I kind of realized that as I was saying it. <laughs> My pee is not green. Yeah, this will be interesting. Usually I don't really put greens in. Like I like to kind of go pink, purple, blue for this type of stuff. Well, I've never really done exactly this type of stuff, but. The green feels a little blasphemous. Like a rotten cookie. Like, I, I need this to look good and not look gross. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Bear with me, bear with me. You can finally see chat. <laughs> Hey, Laris. Bailey, I swear it's not green. Also, Bailey adds green. <laughs> well, there's a difference between like a gross greenish yellow and like actual green. <laughs> I'm like, I need something that's between this and the orange because the orange is pretty light. I did grab a darker brown, but I need... I have E13 here, so I need like E11 or something to act as the bridge. No comment, no comment. This is such a rush. Oh, whoa. Oh, never mind, I didn't use orange yet. <laughs> Ooh, la, 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 la. And see, this is how art works. This is how real art works. You see this? Wow. Masterpiece, <laughs> masterpiece, okay? Look, this is this what we call art, okay? Okay. This could go south. I mean, it is going south, but... Just needs to be darkened is all. Let's maybe add in the chocolate chips. And then I can relax a bit. But whoa, what color? Because again, it should be colorful. Oh, also that light pink I grabbed definitely can be darkened now. At least around some of the edges. Me. I need to color in the chocolate chips. Also me. Back to the brown. Look at me, Mom. I'm failing on the internet. <laughs> oh, you'll pay dearly for that. Oh, it was Bella. Mods? No. <laughs> It's like, I really want more brown, but I'm scared I'm gonna ruin the effect I'm going for. nasty lady. You are being very mean to all you've ever seen, Bailey J. But I guess that's the Bailey J way. Mm. Am I going to have a lot of purplies? This color, it's new. My RV99 could be kind of good. But are we having a lot of purplies in here? Right now there's no purple. It looks like a pizza right now. It's delicious. That's part of the reason why I'm gonna color the chocolate chips. I feel like it'll look a bit better once we color the chocolate chips.
see some Posca on the brown would look pretty good or pencil or both to kind of add color on the brown because right now the brown's the darkest thing and it's kind of overtaking everything but at the same time I need more of it. Okay, chocolate chips, chocolate chips, chocolate chips. Let's just go in with the purple. Let's go crazy. There will be purple. Oh. We have two purple Fruit Loops, but no purple ones over here. I could make one of these purple. But which one? Technically, we have like three green. This one's yellow, not green. Ugh. Oh, I can make this one yellow. Aboard, Who goes there? It's Zeno, Vain, Zeno, Zenova Inferno. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Yeah, I think I like the idea of making this one yellow. And then this will be purple. So let's go ahead with the RV99 chocolate chips. By the way, this is a cookie. Those of you who just arrived here, do not panic. I know this is a frightening sight. Do not fear, mortals. It is a tasty morsel. Kitty feels bad for me and lets me win when we duel. <laughs> peeps. Peeps the candy, LMAO. Where's a purple fruit loop? I know, but there's like, there are two, but they're both right here. I want to put a purple one on this side. So the yellow one, I'm turning purple. The yellow one that's near the peep. Right beside the peep. And then the purple one over here, I'm turning yellow. Just to balance it out. Oh yeah, I just added this chocolate chip here. It doesn't exist in the photo, but... The chocolate chip cookie is just not... It's not chipping. I have to use my creative liberties to add extra chocolate chips. And this is just a big hole in the cookie, like a dent. I'm turning that into a chocolate chip. This is already looking better, just coloring in the chocolate chips. It needs more work still, but like this is already making me feel better. I kind of want something that's lighter than E13. But what even meets that criteria? Like E11 is just is just slightly lighter, but for some reason it feels so beige. more chocolate I could add more slash make them bigger if I want to make them bigger that's like such an easy fix because it's the darkest color but I kind of like how it's a little more realistic like this I'm 
I'm like fighting my instincts that are saying it's too colorful. I'm like, no, no, that's the point of this exercise. It's the whole freaking point. Like maybe once I start coloring some other stuff, it'll make more sense or like. Once I just tweak a few things, like I can use pencil, I guess, to add. Like if I'm nervous to add more brown with marker, I can do it with pencil. Brand new. I probably should finish up the other version of it, which is this one. But also this is like the OG, cause here's my thing. Like they changed up the Prismacolor pencils. So it's like, okay, this one's getting low. So I've replaced it. But these new ones are just not the same. I mean, they function pretty similarly, but the gold label is like the old one. So. <laughs> What do you do? But like, what am I gonna do? Just hoard these forever and ever and like have them in a pencil crayon museum? No! Hi, Zodi. Hi, CEO. Love how the cookie looks already. Thank you. I feel like it's starting to come together. Just feel like, I mean, there is kind of like that harsh shadow on this, but I also kind of want to blend it out a little bit. At least up here, because up top it's just color, it's not really shadow, it's just the edges of the cookie are a little more baked, you know? But down here it's definitely also a shadow. Some texture dots. Yes, yes. Burp. Feel the same way about the old. I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> this. The English way or the French way? I always said like Laurentian as a kid, but it's obviously French. But anyway, <laughs> they are my favorite, so I keep using them, but haven't found any that come close to them. Maybe Prism Color is the closest. I kind of forgot about that brand for so long, and then I was came across this nostalgia TikTok slideshow, and I was like, oh my god. I had a lot of those. I knew I needed this darker pink, like more vibrant pink. I was just so scared to start with it. <laughs> Need more of this orange too.
Now I might experiment with the Poscas right away because the idea of like leaving it to the end kind of bothers me. <laughs> I don't want to do too much though. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to grab my fine point ones. Hey Mona, been catching up on your old videos I missed. Do you have a favorite colored pencil? I, hold on, I'm just gonna get some possible colors to use. Grabs 500, <laughs> takes out half the bag. <laughs> um, I, the color I'm using right now I use a lot, especially for shading things, cause it's kind of purpley, like it's a brown ish color. It says mahogany red. It's like a purpley brown. And it's very good for a lot of stuff. So that one is small. No. Nice. Also love me the little indigo blue like navy blue. This is my replacement and it's short. Like if it's got the silver label that means it's a replacement and it's already short. Obviously I use white and black a lot. And then I also got a replacement for pink. My pink is really short. This is the original pink, but it's so small. And I love like the pale cream colors. Like I just got some new ones that kind of fall in that category. Uh, beige cream and sable. Anyway, uh, I need a scrap. <laughs> sure. Got myself a scrap piece right here. Back to autofocus again. No. Yes, it, yes, it is. Why does this keep reverting? <laughs> Stay. Like, am I just doing dots? Am I doing some kind of hatching with this? <laughs> Me not trusting the focus. <laughs> I'm just not convinced. I want it to focus a little further down, I feel like. I'm like not convinced it's actually on manual focus. It doesn't help that like I'll switch it to manual, but it'll still say autofocus. But it's just glitched. It's just glitched because if I press it again, then it will actually be autofocused. See, I can do like some scribblies. It doesn't need to just be dots. Not being super opaque. Ah! <laughs> Big bubble.
Okay, this is fun. I do have a different yellow too, but that's that one. This light orange kind of matches. Oop, there's like dark goop on the tip of it. Good thing I'm testing this. It's stained. There we go. Now it's clean. I should do a little bit of the green. I'm scared. Oh, it's dark, yeah. Uh, maybe not too much of that. Hello, Joe. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, we're just going to go real light on that green because it's kind of a dark color. Now, I thought it might be neat to try the brown on the chocolate chips. Almost like a highlight. Yeah. We could also put a bit of that down here. Especially in the shadowy area. The dots, the zigzags. I'm loving the zigzags. I was doing them in the midna thing and I was like, wait, I kind of love this. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of loving this. I don't know if I, we have maybe a little bit of white, but also I got a couple pinks. Well, I got also a hot pink in here. I think that's gonna be too dark. This one I think is a bit peachy, which would work because we have oranges and pinks, but you know. Yeah, this one's kind of a bit light. I need like an in-between. All it does show up well on the brown. Okay, but I'm actually really, really liking this, like the process and the look of it. The process and the result. Now I did grab two greens earlier and I never did use the darker one. But this is feeling just a bit pale. Okay. Oh, I didn't use the... Oh, no, I used a different yellow. Right. <gasps> I just pushed down to activate this and it oozed everywhere. Big drip. Look at this. Good thing I didn't do that on the artwork. But, like, also, are you done oozing? Because I don't... I'm gonna get a paper towel. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Mm -hmm.
the white is kind of separated in that big blob that came out. There's like clear liquid and then chunks of white and I fear, okay, there we go. Ah. Oh my God. <gasps> I do not have my table cover on. Oh, it's right behind the photo. It's like smeared white. The white's coming out clear is my problem, so I'm trying to get it more opaque. Okay, I got it off. Sheesh. So anyway. <laughs> Look at the reference where there's some areas of highlight and just kind of I was kind of putting some of my shadows in the wrong spot around the this because the light's kind of coming from the side the cookie's propped up I gotta remember so it's like anyway the light's hitting it in certain areas Yeah, this is not drying very opaque. I think I might be better off with like a white gel pen. Although I also fear that. I fear it's gonna be too light. I've got a jelly roll here. White label, black label, what's the difference? This one's got a little golden 08 on it. Cute. I don't know why I keep testing it on a white paper. Like that's gonna show up. I would honestly love that cookie as a sticker. <laughs> it's too bad it's overlapping the Fruit Loops now. Maybe I should have kept it separate, like the reference photo. The cookie might be done-ish for now. Like we'll revisit it, but I say let's move on. Yay! I was getting a little nervous at one point with how it was looking. But this is looking pretty good. Okay, let's, I guess, do the green right below it. Now, I might make these a little more green than they look in the picture because the green Fruit Loops are kind of a yellow green, which makes it look really similar to the yellow Fruit Loops. Now, I put that blob of yellow there to remind myself I want some exaggerated yellow reflecting off the peep. I love jelly roll pens at an art store back home. An art store back home carries almost all the colors. I bought too many last time I visited. I might need more. If I actually use them, I can convince myself to get more. 
I pulled them out, put them in this, because they were just in a drawer with a bunch of other pens. I'm trying to have like, like have my Copic case always on here. It's kind of annoying because if I want to lay out that mat I have, it's not gonna fit. I almost need a smaller one that just goes on the front of my desk. I could cut that one down, but it'd also be nice to keep that for when I do want full coverage for like a really big project or something, but I want stuff just on the desk all the time, like art supplies at the ready, you know, so I don't have to pull stuff out every time. But that also means my desk is covered in stuff all the time. But I think it's just nice in a way. I would go like a full row of stuff, but this is a pretty deep table, so I can't like reach. Plus I have the monitor there. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. You're back from school, noise. I'm on the signage team for Trader Joe's, so I make the product signs and big end cap wars. Ooh. Oh, and you said I use Posca a lot for my job. And that was the first part. I want art supplies constantly around me at the ready too, but the dust gathers so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna use teal like you did in the Kiki drawing. I think so. I didn't do that with the pencil though, because I kind of have a bit of it in the cookie, but I didn't do the pencil. That's a good reminder. Thank you. I should do that. Where is it? It should be on the bottom. God. The new ones are too long to fit in here. It's like, you still can't really see. <laughs> they stick out. Eh. Cause yeah, I could scribble a little bit of this in here. <laughs> Even though there's still a lot of this length left, this color is called light green, by the way. Even though I have a lot of it left, I still bought a replacement just off the fact that I loved using it so much in the Midna one. <laughs> it's like, okay, like how much am I really going to use of it if it's just like little scribbles here and there, but whatever. Just a little bit. Okay. I invented a new drink this week because I wanted to make a Tom Collins, but I'm out of sugar, so I used honey instead of simple syrup. Was it delish? I probably may, should have made the hole a little further to the right to account for the thickness of this. Now, not only would it be reflecting yellow off the peep, but pink off the base. Because we're exaggerating everything about this. You do see a little bit of reflected pink on the underside in the actual photo. But we're exaggerating, we're adding extra colors. Really, really suits a cap. Hashtag fashion. <laughs> Thanks. It's to protect my eyes from this. Now I'm going to want to do this all the time. Except when my hair is down, I'm not going to want to wreck it by having hat hair. But today my hair is unwashed, which is why it's up in a pony in the first place. 
I mean, if I'm not filming, I usually don't have this turned up this bright. But also, it never really used to bother me in the past at all, like at the old place. But maybe I do just have it higher. Because with having the ceiling light, the ceiling light makes my ring light cast a shadow, so the ring light has to be on. Well, that just kind of looks like even lighting. But I swear, if the ring light's low enough in brightness, then it's... There's weird shadows. I gotta have a certain brightness. But maybe I still have it too bright. Because I could turn the ring light brightness down and then turn my camera ISO up. The honey was good. Hey, Allie. Are we recreating? But where's the rainbow thing? I'm I took this picture and I'm recreating it, yes, but I'm adding a bunch of colors that aren't actually there. Why you say to make it interesting? Now I need this to still look like a green fruit loop. Hey boy, what that pee pee do? So, it doesn't need as much texture as the cookie necessarily, but I do want some stuff in there. Like, let's grab that white. See, these probably should be face down in here, but like, they look so cute. Cap up. Mm. <laughs> okay, this Corel Draw pop up is blocking my chat. Get out of here. New graphic suite. I don't care. Leave me alone. The reason I have it is it was part of my like embroidery digitizing suite. Like if I want to auto digitize something, I use that. Although with like my Luna Moth, I digitized it all from scratch. I did not use the auto digitize. Because with Strawberry, I auto digitized and then I like tweaked it. A lot of tweaking, but it's one lot of highlight here where the the sun's hitting. I like that the items I chose are textured, so it kind of works for all my dots and zigzags and stuff. I don't know if the shape is defined enough. Like the 3D-ness of this. Come on. Come on, green pen. Could use a bit of darkness, like darker dots. So maybe we'll do that with some pencil. I 
don't really want outlines on this stuff. So I'm resisting the urge to just make pencil outlines. I'm sure some of it I could tweak when we move on to the background. Kind of looks like a Jolly Rancher. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on the side view. We got to see this texture up close. Oh, I'm zoomed in all the way. <laughs> okay. uh, never mind then. <laughs> That's all the way? Mm. How long have I been doing art? On and off my whole life. Well, since like adulthood, I've been mostly doing it regularly, but I'm not like an everyday drawer kind of person, but. Okay, now let's get pink. Shake it like it's a Posca. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's completely dried up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uncrust yourself. Uncrust yourself. And now, I have another pink, but it's like a really light peachy one. I want this pink. I could use a Posca. Come on. <sighs> Fellow Canadian, question for you. What's your go-to paper you use? Just multimedia? Um, yes, mixed media. And then also this right here is hammer mill cardstock. It's a hundred pound the hundred pound cover. Which was like my number one go-to for a very long time, and it's still one of my go-tos, but I find myself using mixed media a lot. Especially if I want lots of pencil texture, because it has, like, this is smoother. But if I want a lot of pencil texture, I go mixed media for a bit more tooth. Okay, this thing might be toast. Please! Come back. Don't you abandon this family. Think of the children. What will we do for work? We need you to provide for us. All right. Well, that might be the end of the line for this. I tried. <sighs> it's kind of like in between my Poscas, which is exactly what I want. The only one that writes the Copic colors on the back of my drawing so I don't forget. <laughs> Can't say I've ever done that. I'm it's possible in my early days I did write on a separate piece of paper, maybe once. But also I had fewer colors when I was starting out, so it's like I don't know how necessary it was because I would have like three reds, three greens, three. <laughs> All my jelly pens do that. It makes me so mad. Yeah. Roll it between your hands to warm it. <laughs> Sit on it for 10 minutes. <laughs> this kind of tickles. Tickles my hands. 
I'll keep it face down. These probably should be all face down, like tip down. This one looks really weird. Like, look how splotchy it is. And there's like, there's white spots and there's dark spots. And right here, there's just no ink at all. Does it work? Well, at least left like a little crusty line. The pink didn't even give me that. I just gotta move on because but also sad no no my jelly rooms I kind of want to finish this today if possible at least the items I don't know I just want to make as much progress as possible it'd be nice if it was finished for the vlog too now I don't have any purples out but I do need some for like the purple fruit loops and stuff but I have not been putting any purple in anything else so the purple fruit loops I mean, yeah, I still want them. I was like, I could change them to a different color, but... I mean, this one I'm changing to yellow. But that's more so to space out the purples so that there'll be a purple here and a purple here. I would grab V12, but it's fucking dead. <laughs> and I didn't buy a refill for it for some reason. I think I'll just keep the purple on the pinky side. Because I like the way this stuff looks without any purple in it. I could add some and I'm sure it would look fine. But I also like it the way it is. But I guess just because there's a purple fruit loop doesn't mean I need to add purple in everything else. Okay, let's start with like V05. And then V01 can be like the highlight color. Oh god, these look completely different. The V01 looks a little darker on my swatch. Yeah, yeah. The cap's a little misleading. Well, yeah. This is why we chart the colors. Maybe like a bit of reflected green. Again, very exaggerated reflections, like it wouldn't normally catch that much. But that's at least a guideline, because like I was saying earlier, you you know, you want to add a bunch of colors everywhere. What kind of frame of reference do you even have? Where do you start? And you know what? Reflected light is a start. Let's see how the white Posca is doing. It was being a little not opaque earlier. Okay, that's pretty good. I have just one thing to say to you. Oh my god, there's a little dog right there on the hey other side boy. of the fence. 
what that pee pee do. Yeah, that's right. Pick up that poop. I'm adding some yellow in here just because. Why was the stream split into parts? I had a technical difficulty where my monitor stopped working. And I couldn't like read chat or see anything. And I was like, I'm going to try restarting my computer. Turns out that didn't do anything. That didn't do shit. But... I got it fixed and back up. I had to swap out an HDMI cable. But I didn't realize that until I like had to troubleshoot. I was like, what if the monitor's the problem? So I was like bringing over a different monitor with sa the same cables to see if it would work. Okay, I'm gonna take something like this and just kind of give it a little extra purple It almost feels a little weird without the background there yet, like... Cause I'm like, oh, this is just too, like, too light on light. I need to darken this edge. And I'm like, no, there's gonna be a shadow there from the jube jube, like... Leave it for now. Okay, let's get in a little bit of dials. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! My question is also, is there enough shadow, like, I mean, I guess you wouldn't see a lot of shadow where the, this one's overlapping this one, because one, you can see the reference, there isn't really, but the lighting is coming from this way, so if anything, it'd be kind of lighting up. Like, if it's coming from this way, then this one would cast a shadow here, but it's not, it's coming this way. So, oops. Fruit, l Oops. I need just a smidge darker in the hole, I think. That's black. Maybe this color. Darken the hole! I feel like the green one looks a lot better, but. That's okay. We'll move on for now. The shadow needs us a little something. Is this a picture you found or took? I took this this morning. I <laughs> love this artwork idea. Thanks, Turkey. Yeah, I was eating peeps because we just got groceries recently and I got Swedish berries and peeps and I was eating some last night and I was looking at them and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I feel inspired. <laughs> and then this morning I was like, what can I have to go with it? And it wasn't going to be all food. I thought I would find like cute objects around the house to put with it, but I was looking around and I'm like, I don't really see anything that fits with this. And then I was like, what if I just grab more food? So then I was raiding the pantry. I don't want to do this one, but also my hand's going to be like all over that. Really, I should have started on this side, but 
But I just wanted, the cookie was such a safe bet, I felt like to start with. Because, like, it's just so Once textured. A member, and it, a member. I feel like you could get away with a lot. Whereas the peep, I was scared to start with the peep. What the hell? There's, like, smudged white Posca right here. That's going to interfere with me coloring the background. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you for the seven months. At this rate, Taylor's releasing more albums and Bailey releasing new sketchbook designs. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Although... Well, yeah, because I guess 2023 was, no, 2022 was Witch Hat. 2023 was Strawberry. I'm on track for one a year. I'm releasing two this year. Where's your two albums, Taylor? Get on my level. Also, it's me trying to bait more music out of her. <laughs> I hear mice crawling in my ceiling. Uh-oh. Why, baby, why? I thought you were doing no snacking. I'm still having some snacks, but like less. Like I've cut out my, you know, like my afternoon snacks. And then I still have my evening snacks, but like much smaller portion. I had two peeps, okay? Two, count them. Two peeps. Plus my marshmallows. And maybe that croissant. Okay, so let's get a little bit of yellow highlight. I feel like I should have rotated this just a little bit further down because it kind of looks like it's floating. Like not laying flat on the surface. Ah, whatever. whatever, dude. Three forty four. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I'm not gonna finish this. Heaps are super low calorie because marshmallow is just inflated sugar. Thank you. Yeah, I was having myself a little healthy snack. I'm on a peeps diet. I only eat peeps. And now the mice went in on it. So my snacking's the worst. I say as I eat Valentine's Day chocolates, I cover myself. Because here's my thing. I'm not going to cut out junk food from my life. 
Because then it's, if I reintroduce junk food, it would just like, all the weight would come back. Like you don't lose weight by going on extreme diets that you can't maintain long term. You just have to change your diet. You don't go on a diet, you change your diet in a sustainable way. Okay, so far this is looking like shit compared to the other one. We'll get there, we'll get there. We haven't even gotten to the Pasca yet. Can maintain the peeps diet long term for sure <laughs> I don't think I could I like peeps but I have like one or two at a time <laughs> it's about all I can manage Oh, that one had like a little bit of marker scribble on it too. Or not marker. Pencil. See, I'm tempted to darken like right here because it's like sometimes where the highlight hits versus like an edge at a different angle you want really want to darken that but it's not like that at all in the picture plus it's kind of curved you know this is not like a little disc so i'm like tempted to have a a harsh side to this but it's supposed to kind of smooth over but i don't it's like going against my instinct but that's how it looks at the picture not that I have to stick exactly to how it looks in the picture, but like, ugh. Let's try to have some direction to this. These are probably just gonna look like Jolly Ranchers in the end, but that's okay. Tiny bagels. <laughs> Marshmallow has collagen too. Have you heard of funguary? Wait, is it draw like fungus all about like mushrooms and stuff? I usually don't do those monthly challenges, but that sounds kind of fun. I don't have time for it, but it still sounds fun. Okay, next. Let's do this one. It's another purple. I know in the photo it's yellow, but we've we've done a little switcheroo. I just gotta keep you guys on your toes, you know. I'm switching things up. I'm getting crazy over here. Okay. 
I love your nail color. Thank you. It's, uh, actually I forget what it's called. But, it's got some nice Copic ink in the crack as like a little, add some dimension, some black ink. <laughs> Make my fingers look all dirty. Top's gonna be orange, so let's put like a little bit of orange in here. Orange. Orange. I don't know why I said orange with an A. I blame Mean Girls. Because that's how Damien says it. Or, wait, was it him? I think so. That's pink. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you notice something about this marker? <laughs> you notice something about this marker? Because I do. I feel like on camera it's even more apparent. RV23. RV14. been like this have I been using the wrong colors for stuff by accident at least this time I did want RV 23 and that is what I was using thank a goodness okay all is right with the world once again. How long has that been like that? Look at me, Mom! I'm failing on the internet! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, background will be Copics 2. And it's going to be mostly solid color, just like the reference. I'm not even going to do the canvas texture, but I do want to get the shadows in there because I feel like that's really going to help place everything. I'm probably going to do a panic scan before I do the background. Also, there's fucking Posca ink right here. Ugh. Oh, there's a bit up here too. Ugh. So that probably looks splotchy, but I guess I could Photoshop it out after I scan it. But yeah, I'll probably like draw all the items and then panic scan in case I royally mess up the background I could like put do the background digitally or something <laughs> why baby why <laughs> hey bitches I'm back boss is out of office again <laughs> Keep us on our toes from all the peeps we're eating. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Amb, it's part two because I had to stop the stream and restart it to restart my computer, which turns out I didn't need to do, but. <laughs> is what it is. Hey, I'm I'm like really hoping I don't mess this up because I'm actually really liking this. Okay. I'm like looking up at my reference and I'm like, well, <laughs> I guess it gives me a general idea of highlights and shadows, but it's not yellow. Okay, let's get a bit of pink. On the bottom. And then let's go with our light purple. 
cover most of it. Well, like all of that is left showing. Then the darker purple will do shadow. Uh -huh. And let's go back with that pink and just bring out some more pink dots into this area. Same with the orange, just feather it out a little bit. Kind of looks the same as the pink on top of the purple. And I'm going to darken the inner hole, which is the purple I used last time. Maybe I just use this. Okay. A little bit of this. And then I think it's mostly Posca and pencil. Not a huge fan of peeps, they're way too sweet for me. <laughs> they are pretty much pure sugar, so yeah. <laughs> What's a peep supposed to be? Looks like yours have melted in the reference. That's how they come, they're marshmallows. Sugar coated marshmallows. Sugar on sugar! I don't like peeps, but I almost bought the ghost peeps. They're so cute. Bailey in a hat, new year, new you, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I was considering wearing it today just because my hair is greasy. And then I changed my mind, but then I was down here streaming and this light was annoying the heck out of me. So the hat is so perfect because <laughs> the ring light's like right here. It's right in my face. So the hat has been actually amazing for that. So you might see more hats from me. Especially on a dark day like today, the ring light's really bright compared to like the rest of the room. Because it's very overcast and dreary. It's a dark and dreary day. Get some yellow Posca in there. A bit of that mint pencil.
most of the white here because that's where like the sun is hitting. I might have already done that. I don't know. I see pink dots. I think that was just the, the marker. Okay, that might be good for now. Once I do the background, I might be darkening the holes in the middle because the holes are like almost black in my reference. Not that I need to go that dark, but I don't know. We'll see. Like once everything else has a shadow, I might want to deepen the darkness of the holes. Okay, next. Let's do the orange one. Which is why there's a bunch of orange on the side of this one. Because this one's orange. There it is. A little bit of purple on this edge. And then pink on this edge, reflected light off the floor. <laughs> the reference photo, I just took this picture. This morning. So at the very end of one of my vlogs, like the one where I was doing the deer painting, I showed, like it was like the very last clip, the last second. I showed that I used all of my leftover paint on my palette to paint a canvas. And that's what that is. And then some snacks from the pantry on my kitchen counter, which is what the, <laughs> the speckled background is. That's our countertop. Although when I do it, it's gonna be solid pink. Not gonna be the counter in the background. Did you stop streaming live on YouTube? No, I'm live on YouTube right now. YouTube and Twitch. How much of New Crescent City have you read? All of it. Although I still have some of the bonus chapters to get through. I only read two of the bonus chapters. This is pointing downwards. I... So I still have to get to those eventually. I finished the book last Friday. Because I wanted it done before the Saturday game stream. <laughs> In the package, put them in the freezer to get stale faster. Oh, peeps need to be stale for best taste. Just got back from doctor and I'm seeing Bailey doing diamond painting on YouTube. What? Oh, diamond painting from three months ago. When I left for doctor, I left my computer on. Wait, did you mean? Like it's been on for three months or you were watching that earlier even though it was an older video. <laughs> hey Gilly. Welcome. Oh wait, let's get some yellow on here too. Yeah. Maybe that's what these purple ones are missing. Just like a little bit of yellow. Cute, cute, cute. Cute. I'm gonna use the darker purple 
some of the reflected purple dots. I also feel like I need an orange that's a little more orangey, such as wire 04. This is wire 02, so let's just go up to 04. Okay, I was like, this is not looking like an orange fruit loop. And then I look at the stream, so I see it from a distance. And I'm like, oh, it kind of is. Kind of also looks like a little Cheeto. Are those Fruit Loops? Yeah. Did you like it? I'm just starting it today. I did. I feel like it kept me very interested. Like, I just felt interested the whole time. Like, <laughs> I just felt like stuff was happening, you know? I mean, it starts a little slow, but that's like every SJM book starts slow. I'm gonna bust out the purple pasca. Wait, there's two purple pascas. Pink. all I really need. I feel like if I add too much, it's not going to look orange anymore. I guess I didn't put any white. Maybe just like in the lightest areas, a few white dots where the sun's really hitting. Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> I was like, why does the music sound so familiar? I think that song was one of three songs that Poppin Atelier uses in every single video. <laughs> yeah, I want some gummy candies. Thanks a lot, Bailey. <laughs> Are those bright red things dots? They're Swedish berries. I might make them slightly more on the pink side, like a pinkish red. I mean, they kind of are, but they're just very like in your face. So I might soften them a bit. Okay, next. I feel like I should just finish the Fruit Loops since I'm like on that Fruit Loop kick. And then I can come back to this. But then my hand's also gonna be smudging everything. <laughs> it is what it is. I can put something under my hand if I really feel the need to. So, this one's green.
I loved you. You finished already? All the sweatshirts? Yep. And Ooh, uh, all the big reds, but for the ones we need to see if we can potentially save Oh them. boy, smooching time! Oh, like they're not stitched out yet? They're not stitched out yet. They got stains and stuff on them. So we should see if right. we should... Right. Even bother be... putting the time. Yeah. yeah. And also, I don't know, in my mind it makes sense to try to wash it before you yeah. stitch. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like stitching it and then Agreed. running it through the wash. Yeah. When we were talking about this before, I was thinking it was stitched for some reason. Oh, no. Even though I think you said there's some that aren't. Yeah. Just three of them. You. Someone said, "Oh boy, smooching time." They used the sound bite. That's the censored side. Actually, maybe it's not. No, actually, that's the good side. <laughs> Your mouth is wet. Water mustache. Nice. Hi, Bailey, I emailed you. Hope you can look at it. Really important. I'm streaming right now. I will check whenever I check my emails next. <laughs> How rude. I didn't say hi to you and then chat. Howdy, y'all. How's Christian and y'all's fur babies? <laughs> We're doing well. And by the way, just as, I just realized I wanted to follow. You mentioning Christian reminded me I wanted to follow up. After him being here, this this Luna Moth sweatshirt, the first restock is going to be on Friday. This coming Friday. Day after tomorrow. So we, I got him to stitch out half his sweatshirt, so he's going to be making even more. But I'm dropping like every size all at once. Kind of like a, because we never did like a first restock for Luna Moth yet. So this is like a scheduled big drop, and then we'll probably just add them as he makes them kind of thing. Get it, Bailey, get that love. Hey, Travis. Hope you guys are doing well. Yes, yes. Moist beard kisses. I thought my brain short circuited because I heard you say this one's green, but proceeded with the red and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it may not look it, but this is a green fruit loop. Which do you like better, oil painting or marker drawing? I would say marker drawing wins. It's just like, it's kind of less messy and easier to just hop into. But I also feel like there's so much more potential with oil paint. Like there's effects that are hard to get with marker or like the ability to just paint over something that doesn't look right is amazing. This marker looks, the nib looks atrocious. It's like pale and dry looking in a lot of spots. I probably need to refill it. I do have a refill, possibly one I just bought. Yep, just bought it. Although, actually, yeah, it is getting dry all of a sudden. It's been fine until now. Let's refill it. Uh, definitely not gonna finish this today. <laughs> I thought we would. Okay. Well, not thought we would, I was kinda hoping. I was like, if this is like loose marker drawing with not a lot of blending, it shouldn't take that long, but alas. I 
just realized I was using my planner pad as like a protective layer here. Oh my God. I was like, I swear it feels so dark. The overhead light is not even on. <laughs> anyway, this is detached from the planner pad. I could have used just the chipboard piece. I didn't need to put the whole planner pad underneath it. It's one that just like, it came like that in the box. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll just use this one myself. Cause I don't really do the B grade planner pads. That kind of helps a little bit. I was wondering why it was getting so much darker. Tell Christian I love his beard. Come visit us soon. <laughs> I will. Christian. How do we all feel about Moana 2? Wait, is there new Moana 2 news? Wait, oh, I'm thinking live action Moana. Wait, Moana 2? Wait, did I know about this? I'm confusing the two. Moana 2? Maybe this is the first I'm hearing about it. I think your green fruit loop has gone bad. It's more pink and yeller. <laughs> It almost makes them look like they have a translucent glow to them, like they're jolly, the gummy Jolly Ranchers. Or Lifesavers, am I thinking? Are Jolly Ranchers only hard? I don't know. <laughs> Let's refill. Have you ever created anything with just markers? Oh yeah, a lot. I don't really do that much anymore, but that was... How I got started. But yeah, I do prefer the texture of both. Plus, like you can use a light pencil color on top of a dark marker color, you know, like it'll show up. Whereas with just marker, you can't really lighten an area you've already darkened. Like you can lift the ink up a little bit, but it, it's really splotchy and finicky and you're better off just using pencil, you know? Because marker is one of those mediums where once an area is dark, it's going to stay dark. It's not like paint where you can just go right over it. I wanted to announce an hour ago. Oh! Did you do a marker wipe down yet? No. Still planning on doing a barrel cleanup eventually. I probably should, but that's going to have to be for like a day on board or something. Let's take them all out. Ah. But like if I'm going to repaint the marker case, then I would have to take the markers out. So I might as well do it all. I did staple the two halves of my case back together, which you'll see in the vlog as well. But it's in need of a fresh coat of paint. Sorry, I'm just going to do a double check. G YG41. YG41. Pale cobalt green. <laughs> Scared to do much, do too much, like just let it soak. Okay, I think the new refills are cheaper than the old refills were. Like, I wasn't sure. Someone said they were the same price, but I can't remember how much they used to cost. But I swear refills used to cost a bit more than the cost of a marker. Now they're cheaper than a marker. But they're also half the size. <laughs> Percy Jackson season two renewal got announced a few hours ago. Are you kidding me? I literally was looking that up before the stream started. <laughs> well, it's because I saw a comment somewhere that like I thought maybe sort of implied it wasn't getting renewed, but I wasn't sure. It was like very vague. And so then I was like looking it up.
I honestly don't know if I'm gonna keep watching it. I'll maybe just let Christian just watch it on his own. Like if I'm in the room or whatever, but I kind of like started just half paying attention to the show after a while. How much more ink do you need? Look how much of this bottle is missing. Oh my god, I've used like a third of it. The tip is like very pale green still. But maybe it's fine. The rest of the nib looks moisturized. Oh my god. Am I only going to get three refills out of these refills? I mean, I've refilled other ones where it's like... The sketch used up like a quarter of it and then a chow less than that. But it also depends how dry your marker is to begin with, I suppose. That was a nice noise. Thank you for that. Back to this. How many refills can you do with one of those? My lump is itchy. Can't scratch it through the hat. Well, I guess three to four for a sketch. <laughs> well, wait, it's 12 mils. Yeah, so I used, well, wait, is this the 12 milliliter line? Hold on, let me see a, a full one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The line below where it says 12 mil is the start. So that's one, two, three. So if I've used three milliliters. Okay, so that's like a quarter. It looks like more because the top is empty when you get it. Like, they're only filled to here. Wait, that's probably the hor most horrible way to show this. So this line right here, this says 12 mils, and then there's a line. This is where they're filled to. So I thought I used all this, but actually I used this. I used like I actually used less than three milliliters, but I probably could have put in a little bit more to make it three. So I guess that's like probably four sketch refills. And if it's a Copic Chow, you'd get more. Yeah, they're filled to just above the 12 milliliter line. I guess. So maybe I did use about three. And 12 divided by three is four. Do you feel like the quality of Copics is different than a long time ago? No. I don't think they've changed at all. Yummy. Okay. I, I can't keep saying it, but like, I just love this artwork. I'm loving how it's turning out. <laughs> when I started the cookie, I was like, uh oh, I was telling myself to trust the process. <laughs> and you know what? It's working out. How do you know how much to pour in? I just look at this nib. When the nib starts to like juice up, that's when I stop. Because the nib will look kind of dry. And so when it gets like ultra moist, that's when I know to stop. And if the ink is actually dripping out of the nib, then you've gone too far. Which I do a lot. It's kind of easy to go too far when you're squeezing it in like that. Back in the day, I would just drip ink onto the chisel nib, like drop by drop, which would take forever, but it would at least prevent overfilling. But. Mm. 
Now I just pull out the chisel nib and just squirt in there and it's a lot faster. That just sounded not right, but you know. Mm-hmm. Cookie yum yum yum. The cookie monster from Illinois. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Is the cookie monster from Illinois a specific reference to like a specific version or parody of Cookie Monster? Bye, 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 chat and Bailey. I'm going to go rest now. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I'm falling asleep to your voice. Have a good stream. Good night, Brooklyn. 4 a.m. so early. Hi, Dickie. Hello. Oh. Hello. There's a kitty on my cookie. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be adding any extra chocolate chips to that cookie. She is here and she demands attention. Why, baby, why? I'd be so good at ASMR. I mean, I did a couple of ASMR. I've done two ASMR videos, but it wasn't like talking ones. Because I don't know if I'd have a good voice for that. But I've done like the Copic marker one. Well, I think it was just art supplies in general. And then I did one that was um, like packing enamel pins, like piercing them through the cardboard, like a tuk, and then sleeving them and that kind of stuff. She demands pets. Okay. Okay, baby. I guess you can have some pets. Is that my tummy or yours? Probably mine, but I could hear it going But I couldn't feel it. Look at those Kiki hairs. Look how long your fur is, Kiki. Look how long your fur is. Are you a long haired cat or something? It's definitely my tummy because it's still making those noises. Also, I don't think I've ever heard the cat's bellies making noises. Trying to concentrate a lot of the dots here is like a shadow. Let's keep on cut down a bit. There's a thick fruit loop. If I'm lucky, Mr. Talent will rub his tentacles on my art. Love the art supply ASMR too. 
She's telling you you need a break? No! I've seen a fair few ASMR YouTube shorts recently, and most of them had, like, disgusting sounds of smearing creams or Vaseline, and there's literally no sound on Earth more disgusting to me. <laughs> I feel like there's so much abrasive ASMR out there and like I swear they enhance the sounds or like artificially add sound over it like there's so many of them on TikTok like you said the gross smearing noises and then I'll see people like a lot of them are ads sometimes too where it's like they're unboxing their product but the sounds are just so like they crank the volume on it to the point where it sounds bad like, you don't need to do that, but it just is, like, so loud that it's abrasive. It's just, like, tearing the plastic off and, like, they always got to go on every fucking thing. And I'm, like, <laughs> Fruit Loop sweaters incoming. <laughs> Hello, Emerald! Dune Buggy, thank you for the membership! Every time I touch the hat, I'm like, I'm gonna smear gross stuff all over my hat! Do not taint it. The light kind of blinds it, but... Here's my little hat. Look at it. I'd like to look into doing this kind of embroidery. Maybe In gold. Just like I thought. First the fleshy bit, it sticks. Then the slimy bits, they slide about. And when it all goes down my throat, it stick and slide oh, all the way down. Oh tails. no, this is horrible! I also just like the texture of this hat. It's got almost a corduroy type look. I mean, probably a lot of hats are like that, but... It feels exaggerated somehow. The middle piece just hooks some of my hair. <laughs> what did I do? Oh god. See, I had my bangs hairsprayed down to the point where they're like almost crusty before I put the hat on. There we go. So now when I put it on, they're like pushing forward and I'm like, no, stay off my forehead. for protecting my eyes from my lamp okay let's move on to poscas and stuff i remember to do some like little zigzags not just dots
I'm like, hmm, I like how I did the the hole. Almost a donut hole. <laughs> it is kind of like a donut. Like, you know, I've got the dark shadow, and then it kind of just, like, fades up into the rest of the fruit loop. Whereas, like, this one I have a harsh hole. <laughs> harsh hole. Maybe I'll try to soften that one. First, I'll try to erase a bit. I don't know if it really helped much, but it's something. The slobbery ASMR or obnoxious tapping or mouth sounds is nasty. ASMR can be very hit or miss depending on who's doing it. Yeah. I like it, but I'm very particular about it. <laughs> So I was really cute video the other day of a scrapbook page or whatever. They kept purposely scratching the paper with their fingers and it was the worst sound in the world. <laughs> that looks great on you. Thanks. Um, I don't know if that's the one I read before or not, but <laughs> I read uh, at least one other hat comment. I know you prefer doing softer art, how I would describe it, but have you... Ever done something with more of a harsh look, if you know what I mean? Like in terms of the lighting? How oh, about ducky candle painting, maybe? Unless that's not what you mean. Fruit Loops are kind of thick. Would you be able to see through it like that? I don't know what you mean. Left my PB&J sandwich on top of my Dutch Bros coffee to clean something really quick. When I came back to pick it up, a huge blob of jelly fell into my coffee. <laughs> oh goodness, now it's sweetened coffee. Like, should I harshen up this shadow here? I don't know. None of these really have dark shadows. Other than like the middle hole. I'll leave it for now. Once I add the ground though, I might want to like darken a lot of the shading on stuff. We'll see. And I'm like, maybe I should just do the background entirely digital. I'm scared. If I just scan it beforehand, I'm sure I'll be okay. All right, another orange fruit loop, and then we'll do a pink fruit loop. More like rigid, harsh edges, like not blended, or like square shapes. Opposite of soft round shapes of the little duckies. I mean like the candle ducky painting. I thought you meant like contrasts like harsh shadows and stuff the fucking corel thing just popped up again ah! wait there's a thing in the bottom that says do not display this message again i'm gonna click that so you mean like square like sharp corners and square edges cell shading and bold line art I'm not sure. I gotta pee though. Dear me, gotta pee.
The one fruit loop that's leaning on another is thinner than the others, which is causing the inner hole to look different from the rest. This one, it's because you're seeing the fruit loop more from front on. Like, look at my actual reference photo. I guess it's small for you, but you can see the pink of the table through it. It's like more, you're seeing it from like the front. Whereas these ones, you're seeing just like the thickness of the fruit loop from the side because you're seeing it from an angle. Although the shading is a little confusing on this one. <laughs> I might have to soften it out. This was the first one I did, so it was kind of like, wasn't sure what I was doing. Like soften it out so it looks like less of a harsh, like that's less of a harsh edge and just more of a the front of the fruit. Like you see some of the side, but not much. But also all the different fruit loops, they kind of vary in thickness and stuff too. So this one's fat, but it's also close to the camera, so it's like Okay, so this one, technically you see through to the pink. It looks pretty flat compared to like this one. But also the way I drew it makes it look less forward facing. So now I'm wondering if I should color in the middle. I mean, I could try erasing this pink and drawing it more straight on. Like I drew this as an oval, whereas in the photo it's more of a circle even though it is at an angle. You can see definitely the side of this, the purple one leaning against the berry. You see that harsh shadow on this side, but yet it still looks like mostly a circle. Uh, what to do? What to do? The thing is, the pink won't really erase that much. I mean, I think it's fine. I could have like a sliver of the background showing. Like that orange one that we see from the side is also very flat. Like look. Again, it's too hard for you guys to see, I guess, without going full screen. But like this front green one and this green one look very fat. At least this edge of it looks fat and then it looks skinnier on the other side in the reference. But then the orange one looks really skinny from the side. This one looks ultra fat from the side. Like they're all different sizes, shapes and sizes. Every Fruit Loop is unique. This art's so cute. Thanks, Lexi. Hi, Dylan. If you take a scan, the objects without the background would make a cool decal transfer on a canvas pencil case. <laughs> they will look a bit floaty without any shadows, but. Yeah. Kind of want to eat Fruit Loops now. Oh my god, I just realized I'm not wearing the mic. Sorry. It's on now. Just went back on your Insta. Love your art so much. I was referring to a style similar to Beautiful Nightmare. Those are, that has very soft edges mostly. At least she does. Do you mean like dark themes? Cause that's like a black and white. To me that one's very soft though, like soft shading, soft. You just mean like dark evil themes? <laughs> Cause I don't do that much of that. So, the orange one. I'm gonna do like some hints of pink here because there's gonna be a pink one on top. But also there's gonna be pink cast. I'm trying to do most of the pink on the shadow side. 
the reflected pink. Add a bit of yellow first, because the yellow is lighter, so might as well plan out where the yellow is going. Um, I guess this edge. Kind of focusing the yellow where the sun's hitting. Although I didn't do that on this one, because I really didn't know. I guess no, I put yellow on that side because the the bird, the peep. But there could also be more yellow on this side, because I've been concentrating the yellow where the sun is hitting. Rectangle rain was very dark. Yeah, I guess the colors on that one were pretty dark. The mood in that one was better though. It was like happy mood despite dark colors. Switch to Twitch, lol high from Twitch, hey Brie. I don't do that much darker themed stuff. Mostly cutesy. I'm gonna grab a darker orange, like a pencil. Just add some darker dots. I didn't really do that on this one. I'll add a few. Yeah, actually I think that's what that orange one was missing. The orange one felt a little off. Okay, now, Pasca. I think it also feels less like the or I've been adding pink and yellow to everything, but pink and yellow are similar to orange. So I feel like the orange Fruit Loop just doesn't have that same color contrast the others do. I'd have to add in like the green or purple. And there's like little bits of green, bacon bob, but not much. was really big. Also, I realized I should not open the Posca pen like right above the artwork because it could spray on it. Can't wait for that blob to dry and then I can kind of scribble over it to make it smaller. But yes, yeah, so on top, oh yeah, also I could probably shade under here a bit. 
just a little bit where they meet. Okay, I have yet to do a pink Fruit Loop. This is the first and only pink Fruit Loop. Which is probably for the best because the background's pink. <laughs> um. Well, I always do like a pink section on these, but this one is pink. Ah! I'll do like maybe a smidge of green. But then should the orange one get a smidge of green? Tammy. Really want Fruit Loops. Reese Puffs will have to do. Got me rehooked on Fall Guys. I'm interested in seeing your Midna and Kiki cottage court characters anytime soon. Yeah, I don't know when. I technically got the cottage kitty Minouche. Well, actually, no, I have both of them, I guess. Because I did the. Midna has a more of like a main illustration done, but I did the cottage kitties as the wooden pin that one time. But yeah, it would be fun to revisit that. This one you actually, well, the way it is in the illustration, you see like a sliver of orange through this fruit loop. Yeah, I'm not making mine like that. Bailey, you're so talented. New fan slash subscriber here. Have you always been this great at art? Do you like running your own business and telling your designs? First of all, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Um, and thank you. I haven't always been this great. Nobody starts out. I don't even like saying, I haven't always been this great. Everyone starts from the bottom and works their way up, you know? This I feel like is some of my best work, honestly. I'm like really excited about this. I got my hits, I got my misses. Um, what was the other question? Oh yeah, do you like running your own business, selling your designs? Yes. It just, like ever since I started doing that, it felt like I had more purpose in life and like, it just was more fulfilling in a way because like just doing YouTube videos is fine, but, but I was like entirely relying on that to make a living as an artist. It was like I was a YouTuber first and foremost. And that's how I like made all my money for the longest time, which is really scary. <laughs> But now it's like, I guess because before the videos were the product in a way. Now I have like physical items are the product. I see no Mrs. Lies. Did you not see that deer painting live stream from two weeks ago? But like, there's just something so fulfilling about it, about fulfilling orders. I guess it just feels like more of a real job, but it's also like my own thing. I'm not dependent on like the YouTube algorithm. Like my, my income's not directly tied to YouTube views. It's a whole different thing. I'm not sure I like this pink as the middle hole. But I could just go with a darker marker and then 
go from there. I'm gonna finish the deer or paint over it. I, in the vlogs, I toyed with the idea of kind of building on it. Like if I ever wanna just try try something in oil paint, do it on that. And so it, it's almost gonna become like a collage of smaller paintings in a way. Almost like, like a sketchbook, you know, you can just go and like play around with ideas and do little things. It'd be like that, but it'd be like a board for just like quicker oil painting sketches in a way. <laughs> like, testing things out or just like thought dumping. Like maybe I, I come across a video of someone painting a flower using a certain technique and I'm like, I want to try that. And I can just go there and do that. And that way it becomes a neat little collage thing and because I do like the background I think it's a neat base So some parts would overlap the deer. I might leave like the head of the deer mostly intact, but like other things could kind of overlap and who knows, who knows where it's gonna go. It's just gonna be almost like a scrap piece of paper, but it's a scrap board. big white blob this white pasca is a little pesky Okay. These two are like, I don't know if they have enough con contrast between each other, but it is what it is for now at least. This hole will also look less jarring once the background's colored in because it's going to be dark back there, like dark pink, so it won't look that different from the other holes. <sighs> Hi, Sarah. I saw it while I was live. Still don't see a miss, though. I see a learning opportunity. <laughs> That's Christian cooking. Probably one of the Hello Freshes. I feel like that's always our answer, at least on a Wednesday. Yesterday, oh my God, there's a white blob on the table. Yesterday was non Hello Fresh because I saw corn on the cob at the store and I was like, I need it. So I had corn on the cob with like a Sidekicks rice that I combined 
Like I cooked some ground beef and like seasoned it up and then added it to the rice because I just wanted something to go with the corn. And that ground beef was so old. It's been in the freezer for so long. So, I don't know where I was going with that. So, <laughs> oh yeah, that was just my example of a non hello fresh meal. Oh, ticky dude. What are you doing? All right, now for the yellow fruit loop. Mommy's trying to draw Kiki. It's like the final half hour of the stream. It's the final 30 to 40 minutes. I hear Christian unloading the dishwasher. That means he's about to start cooking supper. Look at this baby ting. Oh, yeah. Hi, Cleasy. Billy need that cob. It has the juice. It has the juice. Have I watched Hasbin Hotel? No. Not really interested. Although I don't even really know what it's about. I thought my computer screen turned off because I was, wasn't looking directly at the screen and just saw a void out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Gonna read for a little bye, everyone. Good luck with the drawing, Bailey. See ya, thieves. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your book. I watch your vids every day. I really prefer your vlog style than others. Like, compared to the live streams, you mean? Or do you mean, like, compared to the art videos? Because I, too, prefer the vlogs. Cuteness warning. <laughs> Look at this precious baby. Look at this precious teen. And there's also Minouche. Oh, I should have brought my mouse over. I swear I programmed the art stream deck thing. I know I at least programmed the record button and the camera flip button, but I can't go full screen face cam right now to show the Minouche. I mean, I could just go grab the mouse. <laughs> Hang on, Kiki. My blanket. <laughs> okay. Wait, it would be. Wait. What does that switch to? Because it wouldn't be face cam full. Oh, no, it is face cam full. Duh. She left me. But there's me news. Her tail looks like it's draping over the edge of the bed, but it's actually tucking back in under her butt. Like a little loop. Oh, baby. Baby boys. Oh, God. Tripping over a table. Okay. Watch it, you missy. There she is. 
I moved one of the cat beds off here because it's like too much having both of them up there. And like rarely are they using both beds. It does happen, but sometimes they even share a bed and I'm like, you know what? One of them is going on the floor. So one of them's like down under my desk right now. I've reclaimed my desk space. Oh goodness. You can really see my camera arm now. <sighs> Kiki's little arms. <laughs> What's the yellow thingy in the illustration? Oh, it's a peep. A peep marshmallow. It's like a little baby chick. But blob form. <laughs> Hey Tracy, haven't watched your lives in a little while. Welcome. Welcome to the Kiki Minna show. All right, boy, Kik. Bye, Minish. Oh, she's licking her little paw. Oh, Kiki's getting jealous. I'm talking to her sister. Trampling over my artwork. How rude. Cool setup. Looking forward to the new art studio tour. Yeah, that's true. I haven't done a tour yet. <sighs> Although it's probably getting close to the point where I could. I'm still torn about what to do with my wall. That's by the art or by my computer setup because I was going to maybe paint an arch there and then hang some stuff or like just a shape there like partially paint the wall but now I'm like maybe I should just get stuff up on the wall because I would like to put my YouTube play buttons there on the wall but I'm like that area needs some pink <laughs> so I'm like maybe I should partially paint but I'd have to pull out the desk I mean I might have to to hang my stuff anyway oh god Um, anyway. But otherwise the room's probably close to like room tour status. And if I add more than do an updated tour, cause I probably would eventually want some kind of garland going along the entire ceiling for this half of the room, like up to where the beam is. So like leafy and florals and then like fairy lights also strung throughout it. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Garlands are not cheap. I mean, I could try to make one out of like those vine strands, like layer a bunch of them or something, or layer some vines with a different type of foliage to try to make my own garland. Like it's gonna have to be DIY to some extent if I want the greenery, the flowers, and the lights. But yeah, why is there something else in her Copic case? Oh, that's my, um, that's my laptop. This is my laptop because I've got the picture of the the photo I took this morning, like the reference photo up on there. So it's big so I can see it. So the question is, do I finish this like next Wednesday? Next Wednesday was going to be order packing stream because like with the sweater restock, there will be a lot to do. I guess I'll just play it by ear, but also like waiting a whole week to finish this seems strange. So I don't know. But there's like so much left to do technically. Also, I've got like all the colors out that I'm using, so it might be nice to finish it sooner rather than later. Cause like tomorrow's gonna be my big editing day. And then I've decided that Fridays are now going to be my TikTok making day. Like I'll still make some of them throughout the week, but. It's like dedicated time, you know.
But maybe Saturday, I don't know. Could work on it Saturday. Then it would, wouldn't be on stream, unless I do a bonus stream, but. <laughs> I also love making art where I just like put up YouTube videos and just like on this monitor in front of me, just slap a YouTube video on and doo -doo -doo -doo. be in my own little world. Y18, this is one of my brand new Copics. I am. Um... <laughs> now I'm just like in chatty mode. We're at the point where I'm not even like working on the artwork anymore. The Copics, I mean, you'll see this in the vlog, but they got like this mega. Ooh. I hate the new way you like scroll through a video in your camera roll. Okay. They got like this huge Copic display and it's like four sided. So one side's all the sketch markers, one side's chow, one side's refills and one side's accessories. And it's behind glass now. Last time I went there, it was not, I don't think. And so I just, I was like, I have a long list of Copics I need. They're like, oh, we'll just open it up and you can go at it. And I was like, yes. And so this huge ass thing full of markers back to the beginning or wait was it the beginning the beginnings where you saw like the you don't see all of it at once but I should have got a vertical video I didn't the the tills were like right behind me the like the, the workers were standing practically right next to me I was like oh my god I'm so shy to vlog <laughs> No, this isn't Blick. We don't have Blick in Canada. That's at Kensington Art Supply. And there was like all the Prismas. I was using the wide lens on my vlog, or not my vlog camera, on my phone. So you can see so many art supplies. That'll be up Friday. That's a lot of Copic stuff, yeah. My Michaels has it behind a clear locked box. Yeah, I was surprised the last time I went into that store and they were just open. I was like, <laughs> but I guess like all the art supplies are just open stock, but markers are really, the Copics are really expensive. So I can see why they would need to be locked up. It was more for like vlogging. I was like, crap, if I got to like ask for what I need, then it's not gonna make good vlog footage. <laughs> But then they were just like, here you go. Once a member, always a member. Mm -hmm. Bailey, thank you for the eight months. Makes you want to spend money I don't have. Yeah, I just stuck to like the one section of the store because the Copics and the Prismas were right by each other. And I didn't look at anything else because, I mean, I picked up a few things that were right next to the Prismas, but like I was scared to look through the rest of the store. I was like, I'm spending too much money already. Like, get me out of here. Although I kind of regret now not looking at oil pastels because even though that's always been my least favorite medium, I kind of want to try them out again. Because I feel like one, well, this one, I've seen like some TikToks and stuff, people making art with it. And I like how it does kind of have almost an oil painting look to it. But also I could use it on oil paintings if I want a sort of like crayon like texture. Or you know how I like adding my pencil texture to my Copic work? It would be like a way to add a different type of texture on top of my paintings after they've dried. Have you ever tried to enter the Copic competition? No, I don't even think I really know what that is. Did you get the markers you don't have? Yeah. 
minus one that was out of stock. <laughs> hey, Kevin. There was not as much as that. Yeah, Michaels doesn't usually have... I've never seen a Michaels with the full color selection. That art store had all of them. Not all the refills, but they had all the Copic sketch colors, which is nice. The pink I put down there like, doesn't even really look pink. <laughs> we add back a lot of yellow with this. Yes. Like there's like a straight edge right here. And I'm like, that's not right. That's not what it's supposed to look like. But I think I'll just try to cut in a little bit into that when I do the Swedish berry. So I'm adding a lot of this because I'm just trying to cover a lot of that pink. It was just like too extreme of a shadow. Like it made it look like a really thick edge. I really should have made the inner hole rounder on this. Um, but I kind of can't. Like when I do the background, I again, I can cut back into this. Like this Fruit Loop is seen more from the front than the side. But at the same time, you do see a lot of the side. Like it's three quarters still, but... I made the whole two oval shapes. That just became a pool of yellow ink. <laughs> I have to fix that once it dries. Okay. Bit of white. Let's focus it on the highlight side. But also this is very light here. This is very highlighted. I'm scared to get close to that big pool of yellow. What? I heard that. Are you mean to say baby? Now we do need a little bit of green in there. You yeah, got too much. I might do a little bit of green pencil, but I gotta wait for that Posca to dry. Don't step in it. It's wet Posca. Oil pastel tip. Do not try the ones that come in kids' kits. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'll go top of the line, but I definitely won't go kid kit. Hey, Yatsu. This illustration is exciting to see you working on. Thanks. I'm really liking how it's turning out, so I'm excited about it, too. What did Christian think of the Percy Jackson show? I didn't think it was very faithful. I never really asked. I'll have to ask him. I haven't read the books, so I don't have the book bias. But I was like really, like episode one really got me hooked and then I would kind of just slowly lost interest. And I don't think I'm going to watch season two. Oh, Rumpel's activated. Purring activated.
Minden right there, like, am I chopped liver? What am I chopped liver? Yes. Oh, babies. She doesn't care. She doesn't like being smothered in kisses like Kiki does. But I do kiss her anyway. Yes, 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 yes. That's still wet. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get orange Posca. Maybe it did. I don't. It looks very similar to the yellow. I will tweak that one once that dries a bit. Moving on. Hey, don't eat plastic. See, the Fruit Loops would be a good place to stop, though. Especially because supper's going to be ready soonish. And I like to shut down this operation. I got, like, a cameras and lights to shut off. And microphones to power down. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I don't want to move forward with the jubes. Because once I started Jube Jube, I just want to do them all. Why not Jube Jube? Well, they're kind of our Jube Jubes, the Swedish berries. Right, dee -dee. She has no comment. You're blocking chat a little bit, Kiki. Looks so beautiful. Thanks, Anna. Getting my stuff ready for my booth at the soccer club. Ooh. Do you seal spray the sketches before coloring the art to prevent bleed through or not? Um, I rare, I mean, usually if I'm coloring over a sketch, it's only if it's like a pencil crayon sketch. If it's like graphite sketch, I don't usually color on top of that. So like this is just, I mean, this is basically equivalent to a pencil crayon slash colored pencil. So it's not really gonna smudge. So I don't, I don't spray that. The only things I spray are like in my sketchbooks I spray certain things when they're done, like most things. So it doesn't uh, transfer onto the other side of the page. But even though that's fine, because I usually leave the back side of all my pages blank. But like, I don't want any pencil getting lightened, because as you're like on the next page, you're basically pushing down and it could transfer over. So I spray my sketchbook pages once they're done but I don't spray between sketch and coloring. I do get a sketch under here. God. <laughs> Finally making another art piece I'm proud of. So here's progress. Let's get a juicy close up with autofocus on. <laughs> Although we're gonna be kind of in the dark over here. Cookie close up. Angle it a bit to get some light in there. <laughs> ah. Here's a close up of my cookie. <laughs> That just doesn't sound right. Okay. The Fruit Loops. God. What if I just do top down camera? Maybe that would make more sense. Although we have to really dim this because it'll be too bright. Switch to autofocus. There we go. Okay. 
There's the cookie. You can see all like the scribbles and stuff. Fun, fun textures. The Fruit Loops are mostly dots. There's like some tiny little scribbles, but they're so small that it's like, I don't wanna go too overboard. I'm like already want to change some things about the yellow one still, but so it's a lot left to do, but it's looking good. I just want to smoothen out like the transition from the light to the shadow, especially because like in the reference, the darkest shadow is at the top actually, and this blends in a bit more. Yeah, colorful, yay, and kind of a lineless look, a little whimsical. I've been stuck in the not proud of any art I make lately, hoping to draw my way out of it. I kind of feel the same. Like I'm trying to think of what was the last thing I was really excited about. Like maybe the ducky painting, but then I never, like the ducky candle one, but I never even finished it. I will, like I'm starting to like get in the mood to finish it, but I don't want to finish it on stream, I think. Cause I'm like at the stressed out stage of it. <laughs> I'll probably just do it off stream someday. Actually, I wrote that to do this Saturday in my planner. But then if I finish this Saturday, then the ducky painting is going to get pushed back. We'll see how I feel on Saturday. But I have all this stuff laying out here. So I feel like I need to finish this first. Because, like, look at all this. Like, I need... <laughs> There's more out of view. But I guess I wasn't using all that stuff. I have a lot here. So I might as well finish it before going back to ducky painting. The cookie looks delicious. Thanks. Super cute. Thank you. I notice you're a good cook. Have you ever smashed Fruit Loops to add to your cookie dough? No. I don't bake. I don't really make cookies. I have, but. I mean, I eat cookie dough sometimes. Fruit Loops would be interesting. Would that just add like sugariness? I guess if they're not like crushed to a powder, it would add some crunchy chunks. The Loops look sparkly, I love it. Thank you everybody, thank you, thank you. You're gonna do more on stream later. I don't think so. I mean, I would like next week's stream to be a order packing stream because the Luna Moth sweatshirt restock is this Friday but also we'll see like what if I do work with on this on Saturday but I don't get very far <laughs> I'll, I'll have to play by ear depends if I work on this between now and the next stream and also depends yeah I don't know <laughs> don't... <laughs> although I'm right now I'm planning on working on it on Saturday But they wouldn't be on stream. What are you planning for dinner tonight? Uh, Christian's cooking something right now. So I'm not sure what he's making. I cooked last night. So he's cooking tonight. <laughs> when you're displeased with your art, it usually means your ability to see is currently exceeding your ability to make. And you're going to improve a lot in the near future. That's true. Because if you can see the mistakes right away, then it's good that you know what's not right try switching up what style subject etc to things you wouldn't normally do to get out of the art funk yeah plus I feel like it always helps me if I go back to something where I'm at least referencing partially like this I'm referencing artwork the deer I struggled with so hard but I was just going in it with no plan no reference. I mean, I was looking up deer pictures, I guess, but I didn't have anything from that angle. 
And it's like, for me, it kind of helps if I just take away some of the stress by looking at a reference. Plus, your art is just automatically going to be better if you're looking at a reference. Because you can see what it actually looks like. Instead of trying to imagine what it looks like, I can just literally see it <laughs> with my eyes. But sometimes I want to do something more whimsical. It's like not everything I want to draw is going to be from picture because a lot of the stuff I would like to draw just... You wouldn't be able to create reference for it. But something like this, yes. But yeah, it, also, it just helps take away a layer of stress when making art. Why was the stream in two parts? I had some technical difficulties and had to restart my computer. Well, I didn't have to, but I tried that and it didn't work to fix the problem. But <laughs> Saturday live stream? No, 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 no. I just probably will work on it off stream. Unless I'm like really in the mood to stream randomly. But like I was saying, I also just love my put on a YouTube video. Like several YouTube videos, but. And just chill. They're both good. Both ways are good. I love the chatting and like keeping me company. But also got to keep up to date with my YouTube subscriptions. Do you and Christian ever do dessert? Yeah, mostly it would be like, because we usually have an evening snack. So that's kind of the dessert, I guess. Love your choice of highlight colors. Thanks. Please make notepads and washi with those Fruit Loops. <laughs> it kind of would be easy to isolate them. Especially because I'm going to scan it before I do the background. So, Although I'll probably make tweaks to them after doing the background. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was like, will Midna allow it or are they going to fight? Midna was grumbling a little bit. Are you sniffing your sister? Oh, she's like climbing on top of her. Is she going to like that? Oh, <laughs> it's on top of Midna. Oh, babies. <laughs> good night, Angie. In fact, good night, everyone. Christian's probably just about done the food, and I gotta shut down all my electronics. So, ending it here was a great stream so thank you oops I was trying to switch to the side view camera but we're not even on that view hello there's progress <laughs> yay so I should probably cover that well, I'll cover it after just so the cats don't like puke on it or something but thank you so much for keeping me company for watching I had a great time, and yeah, new vlog up Friday, including my Copic shopping at the art store. <laughs> there's not that much footage, but there's some. And also Luna Moth sweatshirt restock Friday. There's not really a time for the sweatshirt restock. Like, I'll probably actually add the stock Thursday night, technically. Once I got my inventory numbers from Christian, so yeah. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. Well, for stream next Wednesday. Otherwise, in the vlog Friday. I'm always like, how do I end this? I have auto end off, but I swear YouTube always makes me click the end stream button on the dashboard anyway. So weird. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys.